Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and welcome to Humble Beginnings on No Man's Land by Alien Jim. This is episode 6. Oh boy, as you can see, our money has gone down drastically. I purchased everything on the list and then some. Looks like, yep, they've got everything outside here for us. The spreader has a three-point link to hook it onto the tractor and the PTO there. We bought a pallet of lime. They talked me into a pallet of fertilizer. And our stump grinder. Got a nice little joystick up here to run it with. But now we just need to figure out a way to get it back to the farm. I wonder if we can put one of those pallets in the back of the old lady. Should be feasible, I think. I'm going to borrow your fork truck here for a second. Thank you. They're nice people. Let's see here. Let's try the Lime. Just like I was a fork truck operator. Whoops. I had to say that. It's not going to get any better. Square up. Actually, I have it on the forks a little crooked. That's what the problem is. Let's raise that up. Oh, you know what? I wonder. I'll just close the tailgate. Oops. That should work, and I'll just slide it right off. Well, it's not in there, is it? It's not dropping down. Why is it not dropping down? There it goes. Kaboom! Just like it was supposed to be there. Hot diggity. We'll just leave that there for now. We'll need it when we come back. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go get my tractor. All right. This should be uneventful. Oh, well, she's a little light on the front end. Hopefully it'll be uneventful. Oh, yeah, the road. I also talked to Paul, and he said no, he hasn't been able to talk to anybody yet. They just came and dropped off the equipment. And he'll be talking with them probably tomorrow. He was pretty adamant about, just relax. I'll let you know as soon as I can. Just be patient. Wait for it. It'll be well worth the wait. Sheepers. Driving me crazy. I gotta know. 
I gotta know what the bonus is that he's gonna give us. Yeah, we made it back to the farm. Uneventful. Let's park it over here. There we go. And let's grab old Massey. Let's hook up the lift. Should just be a simple case of grabbing it and lifting it, right? Without giving the old lady too many more beauty marks. That took the pressure off her back tires, didn't it? Oh my goodness. Oops, get it off the tailgate. All right, let's tuck this back here. It's not like the machine shed's got a lot of weatherproofing, but it's better than out in the open air. Oops. Lift it up, slide it back, right there. Alrighty. Let's see. I think... I think it would be best if we took the sides off of this trailer. If the latches aren't too rusted on. Bring it over here and we'll get some tools. And we'll take the sides off of her. Okay. Sides are off. It wasn't too bad. They weren't stuck. Nothing a little rust remover couldn't help. Oh, yeah, I also talked to him about the windmill. And I bought a new one. They're supposed to come out tomorrow. And they will level off a little spot, bore the hole for the well, and some quick dry concrete for the legs. And then it's just a matter of slapping all the steel together and building it up. So we can look forward to a windmill tomorrow afternoon. It should bring in just a little bit of income for us whenever it's windy. It's got a little, I don't know what you call it for sure, I think it's a turbine, a wind turbine. Anyway, it generates electricity, and anything we don't use, we can send down the line, they will pay us for. And it also runs a little pump that fills our water holding tank, so we don't run out of water for our cattle and chickens.
and us. Okay, let's see here. What do I want to try and do? I think... Will that fit on here? Yeah, kind of. Let's put the pallet on the trailer. Let's put it over the wheels, like that. Well, let's get the spreader out of the way. grab that with the fork truck and just set it right on top of the pallet. Oops. So far, so good. Now, if we can just get it off the forks. Maybe I can use the tractor. Caught on the fork truck. Oh, that's going to get caught on the edge, isn't it?
but it didn't. There we go. It is on the trailer, ready to go. Let's get the door open. Thank you. Now the big question, is it going to stay on there for the ride home? We hope. Let's get this up out of the way. Now they said there's a pin hitch. By golly there is. So we can back up and hook onto the trailer. Ooh. Now that's a crazy load right there. Slow and careful. Maybe this would be hilarious at eight times normal speed. I was a little worried about that stump grinder falling off the trailer, but at 17 miles an hour, you don't have to worry about it. And it looks like I forgot to strap down the pallet, but at 17 miles an hour, you don't have to worry about it. Well, we made it back to the farm. And uneventful is good. Now, let's see, where do I want to put this? Now, well, let's pull it up here. Let's leave it right there. And let's drop... Uh, let's put the spreader out there. Let's put Yeah, let's put the lift out here as well. And let's see if we can strap on and take this off. Okay. Women and children do not watch it this time because it might not be pretty. Okay, that was a lot less eventful than I thought it was going to be. While I have this on here, let's see how it grinds. Oh yeah! Nice! Quick work of that stump. Alright, well... We need to do our fields first. Fields. Our field! And then we can play with our stumps. In the back of my mind, I wondered if putting this pallet on the back edge of the trailer would make it tip over. 
I guess now we know. There we go. Slide that in. Let's put this pallet. Yeah, on the left side here. That might be too close. Let's back away. Close enough. Let's drop that, grab our spreader, better lower that down, I don't have the strength to lift those bags up that high. We need to get away from the tractor a little bit. I mean the harvester. There. Perfect. Load those bags in. There we go. Let's go spread some lime. Oh, that's a big spread. I thought I was going to have to make lots of passes. That's not too bad at all. Beautiful. Oh, and we're not using that much lime either. I was worried we might have to go back and buy more. And down the center. Well, I am amazed. I thought that was going to take us, well, I don't know, longer than that. That was awesome. Let's see. Let's unload this out here. Let's grab some fertilizer. Same story. Get it into the fertilizer. Get it into the spreader. There we go. Ooh. Sorry, old lady. Miss the trailer? Barely. All right, let's see here. Let's drive the same path we drove with the line. See what happens. Oh yeah. Three passes and we'll be done fertilizing. I am very pleased. Very pleased indeed.
And down the center once again. Well, this is a lot easier than plowing and cultivating. And we're done. Oh my goodness, we hardly used any fertilizer. How's it look? Well, it says it's 33%. We could put two more applications on. Not right now. Next thing for that field is planting, but it's going to have to warm up. Let's see, where should I put this at? I might as well put it in the back. Let's put it right here. Just like that. And let's grab the lime. square up to it instead of being at an angle. Perfect. And we'll put this box on top of the pallet. Without hitting other equipment. would be good or the wall yeah I wanted it back there now it's perfect leave this right here let's hook up to the trailer that's always exciting and let's put the trailer back where it goes Hasn't been there for a while, but I don't know that we're going to do any more log hauling for a while. Whoop, looks like the boys finished off their bale. Going to need to give them a new bale of silage tonight. Not right now, because we're busy. We're going to go play with our new toy. Yes, we are. Let's go grind some stumps. I probably should have spray painted them pink so I could find them. This grass is starting to get tall. Perfect. Now, if I can just find them. I think they went in a straight line. Is there one? Oh, there it is right there. That one's hard to see.
Right there. Got him. Alright, I'm going to grind these stumps up and I'll see you when I get done. Well, I think that might be all of them. I think that's a perfect spot since there's hardly any grass growing to start a new field. I think we're going to plow that up. Boy, this is a dangerous weapon. It sticks out there a long ways. Okay, let's grab the plow. I'm all excited. And I guess I'll just start driving around and see what I think of it when I'm done. Alright, let's drop her down. And let's kind of follow the road for now. Oh, I see one stump I missed. Last pass. Can I say that that looked like it was going to take forever and then it was done. 
Ta da! We have a new field! Let's see, I should finish this field before I think about starting another. I need to get rid of some bushes too. I'll have to work on that. Let's put the plow over here, because I'm kind of rambunctious and excited. I might have to try building some more fields. As long as I stay within those white stakes. Ooh, I can't plow or cultivate yet. I need to lime and fertilize. And we're loaded up. I put this little bump out on the field right here because that's about where we would start. Just like that. Let's get over here and do this side now. Oh, I'm missing. I missed right along the edge. Did I make this field just a little bit too wide? I might have. No, I didn't. That's perfect. I just did not apply perfectly. The rock is almost in the way. Get it all? Looks a little light right there. Yeah. I think it's all covered. Oops, except for right here. There we go. All right, let's unload. There we go. Maybe I need to go this way this time. Uh, that's not going to work good. I'm going to run right into the trees. Did I miss over here? ever so slightly. There we go. Ooh, I think I might have missed liming right there too. Big rock. I didn't plan this one well, did I? There we go. Must be pre-fertilized right here from some grass. Yep. Well, that was very fine.
Time to check the animals. Okay, ladies. I'm serious. I'm liking... I, I want to see a new box of eggs. I don't think I'm ever going to have to feed you gals again. All right, shut my eyes, walk in. No. Oh, well. And, oh yeah, the boys need a new silage bale. Haven't had to do that for a while. guys chewing with your mouth open? I can hear you. Did I get one? Nope. I got two. Alright, gents. Out of the way. Coming through with your favorite food. Yeah. You guys aren't going to make this easy for me, are you? Stand still. No, stop coming over after me. There we go. Enjoy, fellas. All right, make a path coming through. There we go. Thank you. Well. We're out of the way. I can shut the gate. And now we need to do the water. Are you the same guy that hangs out over here at the water trough all the time? Whoops, that's got to go down. There we go. Oh, I had it. There. Okay, come on. There we go. And you're watered. Well, that was a very lucrative day, should I say? It was a very good day, that's what it was. I may have to walk around tonight and just look and see what I think might be a good spot for another field. Since we're waiting for the ground to warm up anyway, I think I could cultivate this also. We've got a little daylight left. Get all the way over. There we go. It is dark over here behind the pine trees. We'll do field work until yard lights come on. Then it'll be too dark to work. Even though it's not 
Lights on darkness. My stomach is growling. Ready to eat something. Have that tall glass of something. But I'm just so excited I can be in the field. I don't want to quit. But safety first. Need to quit when it gets too dark. Otherwise accidents happen. So I wonder if this field is the same size or bigger or smaller than our original field. To me it's almost acting the same size. Yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of some of these bushes. They're kind of driving me crazy. Oh, it's going to be too dark here soon. Two passes left, down and back. Last pass. And then we're going to have us a martini. Shaken, not stirred. There we go. Plenty of time, plenty of light left. It's just dark over there in the by the timber. Alright, let's tuck this away. I dare try and put down a second layer of fertilizer. Hard to see where I've been in the shadows. Oh, don't spray out in nowhere land. It is celebration time. And it is martini time. Two fields done. Field one we will call it, because it's the original field. And field two. And the lights just came on. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Humble Beginnings. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It would really help. See you soon. Bye for now.